The Society of St. Pius X is not schismatic. The Society of St. Pius X has always sought only to keep the Catholic faith and to spread that faith. We're not saying we're any better than, than the other priests that are around today. It's just that we cannot go along with the new order of the Mass. This, the books that they're using now to celebrate Mass are causing all kinds of confusion. And if you go to a Nova Sordo Mass and you're at the Mass, at the celebration, you wonder, am I even fulfilling my Sunday obligation here? Because you have to wonder about the validity of what's going on. And this is what causes so many people to convert over, you might say convert, to the traditional faith. It's what's happening in the Nova Sordo Church. I knew a lady who went to a Mass in the new church, and the priest said, during the consecration of the chalice, which shall be shed for you and for all Israel. And she practically said she fell out of the pew. For all Israel? Where did he get that? And other priests have done similar things where they, you know, to make things different in the Mass or whatever, they, they change things, they change words. I wonder, what, do they confect the sacrament? I knew a, a lady who went to Mass in Florida, and she said, I, I, was, I can't verify this, but she told me that the priest said the words of the consecration over, over plastic, that he, he was using a, a prop. He wasn't saying Mass over real bread, he was using a prop. And the worst thing was, she said, that afterwards, everyone told him what a beautiful Mass he had celebrated. She said, I, I wonder, am I the only one who's, who noticed this? So many of the modern Catholics, they don't seem to understand anymore what is required for the validity of the sacrament. And so things go crazy in their churches, and they, they think that it's, it's okay. Or that, you know, oh, this priest just does it this way but they still think that, that it's okay to go to that Mass. If the priest is not celebrating a valid Mass, no Catholic can go to it. For instance, what if the priest is using, as, as, as you've heard some in a so-called children's Mass, they use different, different matter at the celebration of the Mass. They use maybe grape juice instead of wine so that all the kids can receive grape juice. Well, it's ridiculous. It's invalid. It is not the sacrament of our Lord's body and blood. We cannot be part of this. And that's why the Society of St. Pius X and all the traditional Catholics around the world has stood up and said, Holy Father, we cannot go along with this. It's not that we're disobedient, but the faith is greater than obedience. Our obedience to you and our love for you is superseded by our devotion to our Lord and to his sacrifice. And if we go along and go to the Nova Sordo Mass, we're putting our souls in jeopardy. How can you expect us to take part in something that may or may not be valid? When I know that the traditional Mass, because it has all the you might say the backing of all the popes throughout the history of the church and all the saints who have celebrated it, we know that it is, it is true, that it is the sacrifice of our Lord renewed on the altar. That is the Mass I want to be part of. That is the Mass where I know that I will be able to receive our Lord truly in the Holy Eucharist. And that I will not be taking part in any sacrilege. We don't, you know, I've kind of steered away from talking about that very much, but you have to wonder when you go to the new Mass, all the sacrilege that are taking place, even the reception of communion in the hand. Even if you're not doing it, you're there. You're, you're by your presence there, you're saying that I approve 
of these practices. And there are many people in the new church who will tell you, I'm very conservative, I don't like all the changes, but I'm not going to the Society of St. Pius X. I will not go to the old mass. I will try to just stay in my parish and change things from within. I've heard that hundreds of times, as I'm sure many of you have heard the same thing. But have we seen anything happening different? No. There's nothing happening in the new church that shows that it's returning really to tradition. Thank God there's more, there's more Latin masses being celebrated now. That's, that's true. But the, the new church, the new masses are still going on. There's no real change in the way they celebrate the new mass. That's why we cannot go along with what they're doing because our presence would, would show that we approve of what they're doing. And that's what this fraternity of St. Peter never seemed to understand. That just by being there as part of what they're doing, you're approving of what they're doing. I, I know fraternity of St. Peter priests who give out communion at the Nova Sordo Mass. I know priests of the fraternity of St. Peter who assist at that Nova Sordo Mass. By doing so, they're approving of it. And how could they not when they have already said, you know, that, you know, we'll, as long as you accept the old Mass, you know, we accept the new Mass. That's basically what the Fraternity of St. Peter has done. They've accepted the new liturgy. And the reward, you might say, that they have is that they're allowed to legally celebrate the old Mass. But they've given up the ship. Because now, by their presence at the new Mass, how can they preach against it? How can they say anything about the changes that have taken place in the church? They cannot. And that's why the Society of St. Pius X has to stand firm. As also do the traditional priests who are independent, who have stood up individually and said, I cannot go along anymore with what's going on in the new church. It's not that we don't want to be part of, you know, accepted by Rome and, and to have the approval of Rome. That would be wonderful. But it comes back to the Mass. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. It comes back to this, that we cannot go along with what they're doing. The question of the validity of the sacrament is at stake. Now, I think most priests and theologians have always said that when the new Mass is celebrated properly, it seems to be valid. Because obviously in the Latin form, the Latin form still has promultis. Um, the, the words, as St. Thomas Aquinas said, this is my blood, denote the, the presence of the, of the precious blood. But as St. Thomas Aquinas also said, all the words seem to be necessary as a part of the of the consecration of the Mass. And he's not the Pope, so he cannot say, you know, absolutely for sure that this is, you know, the law of the Church. But he is the Church's angelic doctor. He is the, the principal theologian in the Catholic Church's history. And he says that all the words are part of the consecration. And nothing should be changed or altered as the Holy Office before Vatican II also said, nothing should be taken away from the Holy Sacrifice. If you do so, you're bringing into question the validity. It may be valid, but it also may not be. There's a question here. And that's why we don't want to go along with it. We have to stand firm. 